Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and join the Don't Family turn notifications on so you never miss a video and while you're done then give the thumbs up button a little tickle because it likes that, well it sounds a bit strange today we're talking about the first time I had police involvement in my mental health now I've done videos on police and mental health in the past this is just my first ever experience with it so some things to bear in mind I was experiencing psychosis at the time I was suicidal, that's you think you need to know before I start this story. So I was on a late night war and I got very down and in my own head. So I went to a bridge and I climbed on the bridge but just as I was about to step up I saw someone behind me and I don't know why it freaked me out so much that I jumped, jumped backwards onto the pavement so off the bridge and I started walking a really obscure route that, that you could literally do in a few minutes. It took me about 20 minutes and I kept looking over my shoulder and seeing these black shadowy people. I always see shadow people. One hallucination I could never get rid of. I wish I could. But the, yeah, there was these shadowy people and eventually I called the police. <laughs> I was like, hey, I'm being followed. And then the police turned off and they looked around the area and they couldn't find anybody. That's why I was okay. I said I was going to jump off a bridge and they placed me under a section 136 of the Mental Health Act. Anyone who doesn't know about section 136, it is a police holding power of, oh, the like, well, I fixed that. So, yeah. Section 136, I think I've explained it before. I think I have. I don't know. But yeah, Section 136 is a 24-hour holding power. It can be extended for up to 12 hours. It used to be three days for 72 hours. And this time when I got admit I got sectioned, it was 72 hours still. Because it was 2016. I got taken to a section 136 suite. They was really nice to me actually, the police. They didn't make me sit in the cage of the police van, they just sat me in the back of a police van. So like, you have the cage, a gap with chairs, and then the driver's seat. They sat me in the middle bit, which I appreciate. They also let me choose the music, but honestly I was too distressed and to be quite blunt, I can't remember what I said. When we got to the 136 suite in Burnley, fucking Burnley, what a shithole. But yeah, when we got to the 136 suite, they sat with me for two hours because there was no hospital staff members free. Great hospital, really well run. After they left, I went to sleep on a, on a plastic sofa with no pillow, no blanket. So I used my coat as a jacket, but not a jacket, I used my coat as a blanket. And yeah, I got discharged on an antipsychotic called Risperidone, so yeah the story. The police were very nice all the way through and I genuinely appreciate that. In Preston there was some police officers that I really didn't get on with and they didn't get on with me so every time I did something, well one of them I put a complaint in against because she bent my arm round and dragged it to one side and said stop messing around because I was crying. I don't know what you would have learned from this video other than don't get sectioned by police. Don't be wondering if you're psychotic. I don't know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.